Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine.com, Twitter Geekazine, and I'm going to Blog World New York. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. I am the podcast editor at large for <laughs> Blog World New Media Expo. I know that's a mouthful, but I got some great news for you. We're going to be doing a video show, and we're going to be talking with some of the cool people at Blog World coming to many of the tracks, whether it be podcasting, whether it be monetization, whether it be social media, social networking, whatever. There, we're going to get them on. We're going to talk to them. We're also going to be bringing you on to be part of this show. It's actually very simple on how you do it. All you have to do is go somewhere in front of a camera, maybe a webcam, maybe your own camera, maybe a little handheld camera, and just say these simple words. Hi, my name is, and I'm going to Blog World New York. That's actually pretty simple. Now here I am, I'm actually in San Francisco, California. My home resides in Madison, Wisconsin, which means I'm a little ways away from home, but that's okay. Wherever you are, grab a camera, grab a webcam, grab a microphone and just say, hey, I'm coming to Blog World and get it to me over at geekazine at gmail.com, geekazine at gmail.com. Just think magazine, take out the mag, put in a geek. You got geekazine at gmail.com. And we'll get you up on the upcoming episodes. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to be doing an episode a week up until Blog World. Then we're going to restart it because the big news, and we could talk about this now because it was just released. Blog World New Media Expo is actually going to be in Las Vegas in January, which will actually precede CES 2013. And that's some great news for some of you that are going out to Las Vegas anyway to cover one show. You get a couple extra days and you can cover this sh great show as well. It's going to be over at the Rio in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I'll tell you something always a fun time in Las Vegas and now we've got four extra days to have fun in Las Vegas and do the things we need to do learn about the social media learn about the blogging learn about the podcasting learn about our arts our passions our dreams and get it going from there This is Jeffrey Powers here, and we're here with five quick questions with Daniel Lewis. Daniel Lewis is known as the Ramen Noodle for Clean Comedy Podcast. Is it is it Ramen Noodle Podcast or Clean Comedy Podcast? It it's called the Ramen Noodle, and okay. it's cleancomedypodcast.com. Oh, okay, cleancomedypodcast.com. Uh, he works. Uh, he also is a web developer, a podcaster, and of course, you're going to Blog World. Your first time at Blog World New Media Expo, correct? Yes, first time attending and first time speaking too, which is the reason I'm able to go is because I will be presenting there. And what sessions will you be presenting? Two sessions. It's a panel discussion, Podcasting 101, Parts 1 and 2, and they'll be on Thursday at 10.15 and 11.30 in the morning. And I'll be presenting with Dan Lyons, Dave Jackson, and Ray Ortega, other podcasting professionals and consultants out there. And we'll be talking about the part one will be about laying the foundations of podcasting. Like, why would you want to podcast? What format should you choose? Uh, certain questions, like everything you should think about and decide before you actually podcast. Like, what are you going to podcast about? How long? All of that. And then part two will be getting a little bit more technical of uh, what are some of the tools that you can use to podcast and techniques and uh, where should you go for these things. Okay, um, and if anybody wants to get a hold of you really quick, we'll, we'll, we'll just get that out of the way. What's your, what's your Twitter handle? I am the Ramen Noodle on Twitter. That's T-H-E-R-A-M-E-N-N-O-O-D-L-E. -E. Is that a wet ramen noodle or a dry ramen noodle? <laughs> it depends on what mood my wife is in. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have any chicken in that ramen noodle. You have nothing but beef. Anyway, I don't know. I just kind of... I, back and forth so <laughs> anyway um, let's say let's let's get let's get right into the five questions here and uh, and get you going so are you ready sure actually your prize this week is this fortune cookie fortune that I have right here and it's got it's really cool because it gives you a fortune and on the back it gives you a word to learn in Chinese question number one now you said that you've uh, you, we we talked before you uh, before we started. You said that you've been to 
to New York before, but you've never been to a blog world. Um, so the first question is, besides going to blog world, what is the one thing you want to do in New York while at the event? One of my secret little dreams is traveling the world and eating at cool little restaurants, some kind of really authentic, unique local food at a local restaurant. So I'm hoping that while I'm there at New York, I'll get to find one of those nice little places, whether it's a pizza place or Chinese food or I don't know, just some nice little like hole in the wall kind of place with great food and hopefully great price too, but hang out with great people while doing it too. That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, unfortunately, you'll be totally disappointed because New York does not have any restaurants whatsoever. <laughs> not a single one. It's not. all Starbucks. So, no, uh, actually, what was it like uh, 10 blocks down from the Javits Center? There was this nice little wine place that, uh, that mm. served some great food. Wow. So. All right, well, question number two What famous social media person would you want to, do you want to meet? Are you expecting to meet and are you excited to meet at Blog World besides me? <laughs> That's hard because there are so many that will be there. And uh, I can name a few people who I look forward to meeting, like uh, Grammar Girl, Mignon Fogarty, or uh, Chris Brogan, I assume will be there. I mean, these are all people that I am going to assume will be there. Leo Laporte, I would hope, would be there. And uh, several people that have inspired me in social media, uh, Callie Lewis. We've actually talked before, like when they had some other podcast that they were working on for money stuff. I was on there, and she's always said things like, the ramen noodle. I love that name. <laughs> I do, too. Can I, can I buy it from you? Five no. bucks. No, sorry. Ten, ten bucks. <laughs> Fifteen bucks? Mm -mm. Fifteen I, oh one. That's I my am final. not for sale. Uh, I am not for sale, sorry. All right, okay. You know, rising economy, all of that. Okay. Well, it's a good name, and, and I agree with her. Uh, if, if I could get it, I would. So, All right, question number three. What is the better network you found in your social media work to use? Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Google, Plus, and why? Yes. That's my answer. <laughs> they are all, I think, good for different things. Facebook, I use for connecting with family and friends on a more personal level with people. Uh, Google Plus, I look for more technology kind of conversations, engaging with people on a technology professional kind of level, discussing things with them. Twitter, I share my content on there. I converse with people on there. Twitter is, I guess, what you're asking for is which of them is the best use for me and my marketing, my podcasting, my design. And I would say that Twitter is probably the best one there because I'm watching Twitter for when people have questions that I can answer. Uh, hosting multiple podcasts. Uh, I have a podcast about Once Upon a Time, the TV show. And so we have a separate Twitter account for that. Okay. And I'm engaging with people there and tweeting news about Once Upon a Time from that. And that's getting really popular on that side. So I think my favorite of them is probably Twitter because okay. it's short, it's simple, and it's, it provides opportunity to connect personally with people very easily. Okay. Pinterest, I do not use as a client, a customer. I publish stuff on Pinterest, but my wife, actually, my non-geeky wife got on Pinterest long before I did. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I wear all my dresses and take pictures of myself and put that <laughs> on Pinterest. It's just, you know, that, that's what it's all about is, is to show off your dresses and your high heels. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, next question here is, what's the best way for you, because... Uh, Everybody, you can put something out, you can put a podcast out, you can put a blog out, and you put it out to the world, but sometimes you got to start locally and build it out and uh, so you can get your name across locally so you can get it out nationally. Um, what's the best way for you to connect with local podcasters in your area or even just a mentor? I think, well, I'm in the Cincinnati area, and Cincinnati is buzzing with social media groups. So that's what I do is I get involved with other social media groups because I, I actually wouldn't really want an all-podcasting group. The reason is then we're all already there. We're already podcasting. Yeah, we could geek out and talk about different podcasting techniques and stuff, but I want to be around other people who 
aren't all podcasters. Some of them really good bloggers, some of them really good with Facebook. And so there are several social media groups around in Cincinnati that I'm a part of and participate regularly in their meetings and even help lead a couple of them. Uh, we recently had PodCamp Cincinnati uh, in the greater Cincinnati area, and that was Cincinnati's first social media conference. And Cincinnati was named the most social city by Mashable last year. Oh, so, okay. yeah, we had our first social media conference, PodCamp Cincinnati, and that was awesome to get to meet many people around there and connect with many more. So do you, uh, do you start each, uh, each of these uh, events with uh, the theme song from WKRP in Cincinnati? <laughs> no, we need a theme song, though. You'd be welcome to submit one for us. Okay. We get, we'll get to the fifth question. Here we go. You ready for it? Okay. This is, this is for all the marbles in this nice little fortune, cookie fortune. So here we go. Do you think that social media rewards are like sex? I would say no. I am married, so I can, I'm equipped to answer this question. Okay. <laughs> but, um, I would say they're completely different. I, I've seen that research where people have talked about that uh, the, what goes on in the brain with social media is the same between them. But I just I think about the excitement of being around my wife, even, even just non-sexually, the excitement. And that's nothing compared to social media. Now, social media sometimes is a lot easier to manage because there are those ups and downs in marriage. Um, but I would say the rewards, I wouldn't really say quite there are rewards like that in so with social media. It's fun, but eh, I wouldn't say it, it's, I wouldn't define social media as rewarding for me. Okay. So uh, you, you, you don't expect kids out of social media? <laughs> no. no. Just saying. Unless okay. my podcasts are my kids, because you know, every now and then I pop out another one every couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> and at least you don't have to pay its college tuition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we five questions with Daniel Lewis. Once again, Daniel, I tell people where they can get a hold of you. Okay, I'm on Twitter as the Ramen Noodle, and my main website for all of my podcasts is noodle.mx, and then my personal site with blog and also links to all of my other stuff is danieljlewis.net. Now, of course, we're going to be doing a lot of interviews. If you're going to Blog World New Media Expo, like I said, get in front of the camera, say, hey, this is me, and I'm going to Blog World. But if you'd like to be interviewed, also let me know. My Twitter handle, once again, is Geekazine. Just think magazine. Take out the mag, put in a geek, and you've got my Twitter handle, geekazine at gmail.com. You can also check that out and send me an email. Let me know, and we'll set up a time, and we'll do a one-on-one -on -one interview with you right from the studio. All right, that's it for this first episode. I just wanted to tell you about how you can get on this show, what we're going to be expecting in the next few weeks. We're going to try and get as many interviews as we can before the June 4th through 7th. Blog World New Media Expo, once again in New York City. It's a great time, had a lot of fun. Check out the video I have in the show notes. It was a video I did last year of people that actually did go to Blog World, and we'll be doing that again this year at Blog World New York. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you at Blog World New Media Expo in New York City, actually going from one side of the country to the other side of the country for this. And then, of course, Las Vegas, January 5th through the 8th. Check that all out. Now, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my week here in San Francisco, and uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.